Here's a message from C.J. Lovick, author of the widely popular Living Word in 3D series. Watch as he unfolds a mystery hidden just under the surface. It was at Mount Sinai that the Lord revealed to Moses all the plans for the tabernacle. The mystery of the tabernacle is summarized in the picture embedded in the four-letter Hebrew word Mishkan, spelled Mem, Sheen, Kav, and Nun. The first Hebrew letter in the word Mishkan, or tabernacle, is the letter Mem. The picture in Mem that most closely matches the conventional context of the Hebrew word Mishkan is the picture of rainwater. Just like the rain comes down from the heavens, all the intricate plans for building the tabernacle and all its furnishings came down directly from heaven. If you look at the first and last letter of Mishkan, you discover the Hebrew word manna, spelled mem noon. Manna is the bread that came down from heaven to give life. The first and last letters of Mishkan reveal that the tabernacle is about the Lord coming down from heaven, and it's about life. Sheen, the second letter in Mishkan, is pictured as teeth, teeth that gnash. Sheen is also the Hebrew word spelled Sheen Noon, and this provides the clue we're looking for. Sheen Noon is the picture of the destruction of life. The third letter found in Mishkan is the letter Kav, the picture of a hand. Kav is also a Hebrew word spelled Kav Pei. The Kav, or hand, covers the Pei, or the mouth. Imagine a criminal standing before the judge, having committed and been found guilty of a capital crime worthy of death. The judge stands to pronounce judgment on the criminal. But just as the judge is about to speak, he places his hand over his mouth and refuses to speak or pronounce the sentence of death. The final clue in the mystery of the tabernacle is found in the Hebrew word noon. Noon is not just a single letter, it is also a word spelled noon, yod, noon. Noon is the picture of life. Yod, a mighty divine work, and Noon, again, is the picture of life. So what is the picture? The Hebrew picture embedded in the picture of the Hebrew word Noon discloses that there is a life that gives life, and without that life, there is no life. The letter Noon, as used in the Hebrew word Mishkan, further reveals that there is a life being given in order that a life be saved or redeemed. Can you see in the Hebrew word noon the substitution of a holy, righteous, and spotless life for the life of a criminal? When you look at the last three letters in the Hebrew word mishkan as an illustration, what do you see? You see the picture of a hand separating the destroyer sheen from the life noon. Only Kav, the hand that covers, can stop the destruction of life. It was never the Lord's purpose to atone for the sins of Israel with the blood of cattle, goats, and sheep. These blood sacrifices that took place in the tabernacle and finally in the temple in Jerusalem were rehearsals of the one supreme blood sacrifice that only the Lord could provide in order to satisfy His justice and His righteousness. The Lord's final blood sacrifice was made at a place called Calvary just outside Jerusalem on a cross that lifted up the Savior of the world. His name is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. The Son of God came down from heaven and dwelt among us at the time appointed by God the Father in order to make a final and once for all atonement for sin. This atonement reversed the curse of death so that we might have eternal life. Now you know the mystery of the tabernacle. There are literally hundreds of precious mysteries found in the ancient Hebrew. To learn more, get the book, The Living Word in 3D, Volume 1, from rockislandbooks.com. To learn more about this word and other Hebrew words, subscribe to livingwordin3d.com, and we'll send you a new word every week.